Hello, folks. Hello. Welcome back. I told Mark to not drive until we do some house cleaning stuff, and he's oh completely ignored that. But I want to start not off driving and reversing. That's true. I want to start off with a couple of things. First of all, it's a little embarrassing, but we're wearing very much similar clothing today. Mm-hmm. So if you're looking to figure out who's who, I've got blue. I've got gray. And he's got gray. So we're not exactly the same. I have hair. The other thing is that I wanted to show everybody this. I I'm hoping you can see that. that. That's the trend of our viewers. See, this is our first one. We had 600 viewers for the Raptor. <laughs> this is our second one. <laughs> 55 viewers, 56 viewers. Our Aventador got us, we got us 55 viewers. And the Flex had 14 viewers. <laughs> I'm afraid if this trend continues, no one's going to watch this video, so it doesn't really matter if I show you this. But, um, that hurts, guys. That hurts deep. So, now we can now we can begin. We are working with a 2013 Mazda CX-5 Touring All-Wheel Drive Zeal Red Mica with a black interior. Is this the first 13 we've done? Yes. I think it is. Yes. <laughs> I know the Fiesta was a 12. Yes. I know the Flex was a 12. Yes. Because we just got a 13 in and it doesn't look the same, so that's how I know that. All right. There's a car coming. I know. And I'm trying to get and away from it. Inside of the road. I know, but All it's right. big. So now we're going forward. That's exciting. Yes. This is the, the first, well. Now I'm all thrown off because I don't start in the same spot. Which way do I go? I go back road. Back road. Oh. That's right. This I'm is, like starting where I'm ending. This is the replacement for the uh, Mazda Tribute, mm-hmm. which was the small Mazda SUV that they used to have, which was essentially just a rebadged Escape. Which is in the same class as, this is in the same class as the Escape, the CRV, the RAV4, those yeah. kind of cars. The C-Class. Yes, size. it is a C-Class. Um, and, and they've just redone the Escape, which we got to see today for the mm-hmm. first time, the 2013 Escape. That's pretty exciting, I too. I just got trained on it, so that's but cool. But that's a video for a couple of months down the line when we actually have some of those in stock. Right now, we are talking about this great little Mazda. Mm-hmm. Um, it's exciting because it has Sky Active technology in the engine, mm-hmm. which means... It is very fuel efficient, and you don't rob your power either, which was what a big uh, sa- sail point I, was, I knew on the Mazda 3s was it was not a tiny little wimpy engine but you still got the mpg gains out of them so it's kind of like the ecoboost very much like the ecoboost is it turbocharged i'm not sure i'm not mazda certified yet i know nothing about sky active technology i don't know it sounds a little bit like a diesel engine i can tell you that it doesn't have an e on the end of it it just has the v does it yeah sky oh active. interesting story about that little sidebar here Ford made a sport track, the Explorer sport track for a while, sort of like an Explorer with a pickup bed, and it always drove me nuts because they had a version called the Adrenaline without an E on the end. Mm -hmm. The reason that drove me nuts is because Adrenaline without an E on the end is a uh, registered trademark of a medicine as Mm -hmm. opposed to being the actual hormone Adrenaline itself, which has an E on the end. Hmm. But they didn't have the little little TM next to the name tra- uh, Adrenaline. So I'm wondering if maybe that just slid by and nobody noticed it. I mean, it'd be kind of like, you know, Pepsi versus Cola. Mm-hmm. It's a different thing. And in yeah, fact, I, I looked thing. it up and Adrenaline without an E on the end isn't the same as Adrenaline with an E on the end. It's, uh, I believe, a synthetic. You have too much free time on your hands. Well, they don't let me talk to people much. <laughs> they don't. They, you so, have a borderline cave. I do. I stay office. in my cave. But that's okay. Is this a new marijuana growing outfit over here? Where? The one with the giant THC on top. I... It's been empty for a while. It used to be a computer repair shop. Wow. And they've been buzzing around doing very mysterious things. Yeah, inside. they have big trucks backed in at night. And yeah. I, used to li- I used to drive by here on the way to work. And it, it, that explains a lot. It does. THC. I think that would make sense. All right. But that's neither here nor there either. I um, got a new part-time job. Who, you? Mm-hmm. As a car salesman? No. Oh, doing that. Doing that. You're a car salesman now, though. That's I exciting, am a car isn't it? Salesman now. No I'm more accessory excited. sales for you. No more accessory sales. Just accessory attachments. That's right. But that's okay. That's right. So yeah, this is. A, I, I like the drive. Feels to me a lot like a Mazda three. Mm-hmm. In, in it does. the suspension and, and handling that I'm feeling out of this right now. It does. It is a true SUV, but it, it has a lot of the crossover fe- features and ride comfort that they had. The Tribute was a very older escape style yeah um that was it was past his time 
Yes. It was yes. time for the tribute to yes, go away. Yes, it was time for the tribute to go away. And, and this they, is a great replacement, right in line. It's got that great styling, like the 7 and the 9, the CX-7, mm-hmm. CX-9. And, and it's got a lot of nice things inside, too, a lot of com- comforts. Um, it's got the proximity uh, key with the remote start optional on it. Um, you've got your um, climate control and everything right down here. Uh, you've got a reverse camera in it. A little uh, LED screen right here. Looks like it's LED got navigation screen. on it. Yep, it does. Maybe not on this one, necessarily. Press the button harder, it should. Um, that's uh, not working. It has HD radio. Yes, it does have HD radio. I would and 28 miles to gallon. Yep. Per gallon. In the city. In the city. In the city. No, that's combined. That's combined? Yeah. Is that what they're doing now? 25 doing CD 31 highway. Yeah. Okay. 28 combined. That's fine. So, I... Uh, Wanted to, to share a couple things that I found last week in my excessive time in my office. Um, one of them that just cracked me up was a guy sitting in a store, like a convenience store, mm-hmm. and he gets robbed. And the mm-hmm. robber reaches over the counter to grab the money out of the, out of the cash register, not knowing there's a German Shepherd behind the counter. German Shepherd grabs up, grabs this man by the arm and starts pulling on his arm. Okay. man panics, of course, and shakes the German Shepherd off and starts to run away. The owner of the store picks the German Shepherd up and throws him over the counter. So the German Shepherd can go chase the guy. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's a pretty effective weapon. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's cruelty to animals. He didn't throw him a long way. He, the like, dog had his front paws up, up so he, and he wanted the to go kill back the guy. paws. Put the back paws on the counter. Why did the, the man not off. do anything? Because he was scared. Because he had a German Shepherd. If you have a gun, you don't hit the guy with your fist. You shoot him with the gun, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I unless mean, you're you cool, use you the best pistol you, weapon you or defi- something. <laughs> <laughs> that's sort of the same thing, but uh, you didn't hit him with the dog. No, that's true. I mean, and I guess the dog was doing something that it wanted to do. It's kind of the point was, of the dog, you know, I think. I think if you have a German Shepherd behind the counter, there's not many other uses than... To blindly attack a robber. Absolutely. I think that's a good Did use. the German Shepherd get him? I don't know. Camera angle's too narrow. You just stopped after that? That was, that well, was the end of show. your point, point of interest? Yeah. Gotcha. I imagine he did, though. Just in my head. It makes it funnier. <laughs> I like when people get their well, comeuppance. And Matt, Brittany's little bro- brother has a German Shepherd. As Brittany, your special puppy. other. My special other. Who's going to be thrilled being mentioned on here? Yes, she gets mad every time. Yeah. Um, she also got mad about my Woot tangent last night, but we'll go into that <laughs> later. But she, Lakota, is a little girl, and she is, she would probably let them into the house. The child's name is Lakota? No, the German Shepherd puppy. I don't have a child. Well, you said, okay. Brittany's little brother. Didn't you just say little girl? Little girl. Lakota is a little girl. A pup, puppy. A dog. Dog. Okay. Little girl dog. Little girl dog. Lakota. Little girl dog. Okay. My niece. Named after the uh, Northern Indian, no doubt. Yeah, and you know what it means? Northern Translated? Indian. Translated? Nope. Friend. Friend? Friend. In so the Lakota Indian. Sioux or the Friendly Sioux? Yes. Uh, that seems nice. That's that's a nice... Didn't they nice slaughter a lot of people? <laughs> Probably. They scalp were, them or something? Maybe it was... Is that the Apaches? What does Apache mean? Cut your head off? Yeah. Ta- tomahawk? Tomahawk. Maybe. That's a, that means axe. That means axe. That does mean axe. It means hand axe or something, right? Yeah. So what were you telling me about this dog? But anyway, (laughs) this dog would probably let anybody and their mom into the house. Yeah. And would, it just depends on, I mean, German shepherds are very intimidating, but they have to be raised the way they are. My sweet giant dog. Would just lay against the door and not let anybody in. No, it's actually very funny. She's starting to develop protective tendencies at eight months old. And oh, so God. the doorbell rang because there was a delivery man at the door. Mm-hmm. And my dog knows when the doorbell rings, someone's here. And so she gets very excited. She doesn't bark yet or anything, but, you know, she kind of stands there and her she tail wags. And yeah. Her ears go up a little bit like I <laughs> maybe have to be protective. <laughs> so the doorbell rings at the front door. And my dog stands up and goes bolting to the garage door and stands and stares at the garage door waiting for it to open. Because you think somebody's home. Apparently it was the wrong door. I, I mean, she, she had no clue that the doorbell means the front door is going to open. She went to the... <laughs> On the plus side, she didn't terrify the delivery guy because he didn't see her standing yeah. behind me with her ears raised yeah, and the her small tail wagging. horse wagging. behind the door. Yeah, she's up to 140 pounds now. At eight months old. She's close to my weight. That's kind of weird. Yeah, but you're just grounded. A little intimidating. Yeah. It's like your left leg. <clears throat> yep. But that's fine. Yep. So the other thing I've really been wanting to talk about all week, mm-hmm. and it's a crazy non sequitur, 
is this concept of knowing people or meeting people before, or, or either before you meeting them before you know them, or or seeing them after you know them and getting to know them again. What? Mm-hmm. I was just you getting mad. annoyed by the people that don't know how to merge? Yes. People. The rule is one car from Every one car. lane, one car Every from the other, other lane, car. one car from one lane, one and car from the other lane. The fast lane usually goes first because they have the inside on the left turn. Right. Just saying. Don't squeeze Just us saying. out. Learn from this. We've got plenty of pickup. We're doing 60 pretty quickly here on the highway yeah, in our are. little CX-5. So. And I didn't even run run the RPM. No, you did so not. It's got a good, good amount of torque. Yep. You don't really have to go up past three grand. But anyway, back, yeah. back to your story. So, so first a generic story. I heard about these two people that were getting married. And they were getting ready for their wedding and making a book, uh, a memory book of okay. pictures from their childhood. Mm-hmm. And they're going through and the, the woman says, oh, I really like this picture from when I was with my family at Disney World. And okay. the man looks at it and says, that's remarkable because that's me in the background of your picture with my family. He was from Canada. She was from Florida. But it's literally a be... decade later. And then they got married. They were like 10 in the picture. And they were getting married, happened to be at Disney World at the exact same time. Taking a picture at the exact same place. Exactly, 10 years earlier. How trippy is that? That's kind of scary. I would probably say I don't want to marry you. You probably have been stalking me for the last 10 years. I think that's more reason to marry her. I don't know why you wouldn't marry a stalker. You know why? they're going to be dedicated and loving and and creepy. always want to know where you they are. They could be the ones standing over you at night. And if you right. went out with coworkers at night... Who are the same sex? They would assume that you are cheating on them, and they would kill you in your sleep. Well, they'll only kill you if they have proof, really. No, otherwise, no, otherwise, you felt like statement. a guardian angel. Uh huh. Guardian well, it angel on is a, stalker. It depends on whether you have a mean stalker or like the guardian angel kind of stalker. You know, oh, like there's trends like Batman. of different stalkers. Batman's Batman is kind of not a stalker. a stalker. Yes, he is. No, he's a protector. No, he's well, but he, the same difference. He knows where you are all the time, so that he can protect you. Touche. Right? Okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so, win. I would I would marry Batman. You would marry Batman? Sure, I think he's a wonderful person. We kind of had a Batmobile in our we did. second cool. to last test drive. That 55 of you saw. Yeah, yeah jerks. 56. And I, I was probably 10 of them because I played it to friends. <gasps> I'm sorry. Our stats. Well, I'm sorry. I get excited. All right, well, at least we are excited about what we're doing. Yeah. It's all jerks. So, anyway, the... the segue off of the uh, Disneyland story is that I went on an hour bound trip hour bound you go outside they leave you alone for a couple days it's pretty darn cool and terrifying all at the same time Did you bring your dog <clears throat> no this then was I when I was scared. 13 oh your dog wasn't around yet no not so much anyway I went on an hour bound trip and I was wondering as I was heading out there if I could possibly know anybody now it wasn't out of the realm of possibility I might know somebody because frankly I was from the Boulder area, and a lot of Boulder people like to do that. Mm-hmm. But I spent hippies. four years... Eh, more hippies. granolas than hippies. I spent four years in New York, upstate New York a little bit. Doing and uh, my dad was getting a PhD. I was they, Young, I was 12. Okay. I was going to school. Okay. 10, 11, 12. 9, 10, 11, 12. Anyway, <laughs> four years. I'm just trying to make a fit. Yeah. Okay. So I was there in sixth grade, and I had a math teacher who I was very fond of. Her name was Mrs. Kendall. Mm -hmm. And when I was on this Outward Bound trip, I was talking to uh, one of the other people on the trip, and she was from the New York area. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that she didn't have a great relationship with her mother and was a horseback rider. And her horseback, or her horse owner, the horse she rode, Mm -hmm. was Mrs. Kendall. And she viewed this Mrs. Kendall sort of like a mother figure. So here okay. I am in Utah on the Green River meeting a girl who happens to be, there were there were 20 of us, I think, in the group, and I'm meeting one of these 20 people happens to be very close to my sixth grade math teacher in New York. It's so funny because no, no matter how more populated the world gets and how more dense it becomes, I mean, mm-hmm. how bigger it gets, but it's, 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 it, it's amazing how how easily it is to run into somebody that you have connections with. Six degrees of separation. Now, it's creepy. not even like a like a passive, I know a friend of a friend of a friend mm-hmm. of yours. It's, I had a direct relationship with somebody that you had a direct relationship with. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's almost cosmic. Yeah, it is. And, I mean, even with me moving out here, and, you know, they would say, where are you from? You know, the LA area, get the exact city, all of that. They go, well, I grew up 
down the street or I went right. to the same high school you did before you left you know and, and, and even my mom she lived there her whole life and she came out here and there's um, her next door na- neighbor grew up with her I, in LA it's crazy they had the same they used to ride hor- horses it's a little something together it's a little less crazy when you consider Californians in Colorado because there are so many, many of you which is good no it's really not it's good it's really it's not. good we're smart you weren't here 20 years ago when it was good why is it not good up. now because you're not smart we're smart you are not smart we are smart I, not we're street close. smart not book smart difference I wouldn't even say you're street smart I'm pretty street smart I just got around the street fine you did all right, yeah. And yeah, but you're clearly Mazda one of CX-5. the one of the smarter Californians. Yeah, my dad's pretty. Well, he grew up in Iowa, so it doesn't count. See, exactly. Iowans, I like Iowans. They can come here. <laughs> come here. But I'm okay. sick of Californians. Too many oh, of them. Fine. They can't drive. They can drive. No, they cannot drive. False statement. Texans can't drive. drive. Texans are worse. Yes, but there are plenty of them here too. Yes, and that's why I don't. If you're a tech Texan, I like you. But if you view this, I like you. That's the only reason why. If you don't, then I don't like any Texans. I'll kind of like one if they view this. I like Texans. Why? Because they buy trucks from us? I don't like all Texans. <laughs> I don't like Californians, though, either. I love Californians. Yeah. They answer Cal- so much. Californians bother me. No? And on that cheery note, I think we should end. It's not cheery. I know. I was being sarcastic. This is a really nice car. Um, come and drive one. The Escape is in the same class, but uh, we've got it for... We don't have any for a few months, so this is... Uh, this is the newest C-Class that Sil Terhar has, pretty much. And we've got two um, of them in stock right now? We've got two of them in gray. actually pretty good. nice red. Um, they had a f- they've sold, I guess, about nine, nine of them since they came in within a month. These are going m- quick. Month, Very quick. A couple weeks. Yep. So, um, yeah, they got a good inventory down here. There's so. no escape. Mm. We do apparently have escapes. Well, we have escapes, but not the 2013 escapes. No, not for a couple months. But you can buy a 2012 Escape. You can buy a 2012 Escape. That's a great card still, too. Yep, they are. They are, absolutely. Still have the V6. All right. Thanks for tuning in and uh, tell your friends to watch this as well. Yeah, please. Come on. Just, or or watch it a bunch of times. Set it on a loop somehow. Yeah, do it like I do. Just stream it over and over and over again. We're desperate for attention. I should do that. Maybe and not tell you. Okay. And then the rates will come up. It's only going to show us one. I'll tell Greg I can't sell cars this week. I have to play the videos over and over again. Okay. All right. Greg finds his keys. No. No. Greg didn't find his keys. Poor Greg. Greg found a way. He found a spare key, though, for his fifth wheel. <clears throat> That's so something. he doesn't have to pay me to cut it out. That's something. But he. it was funny because I picked up a lawnmower for him the other day. And, uh, are we not supposed to say that, but I did. You I, did. That's fine. Uh, 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 that's okay. But though. he couldn't pick it up himself. But he couldn't pick it up himself because, because he lost his keys. <laughs> he lost his keys and he couldn't swap out his ball mount to a 2 and 5 16s, which he had to. We don't we don't mind laughing about it because he's not watching these either. Yeah, also true. So I'm gonna have him watch it. And I'm gonna rip on you, Greg. How about that? Yeah, and that's it. I think we're on a little long, so we'll sign off. Yeah, we're done. Bye. Bye.